Okay, Peter. Mm -hmm. We're at our next service call. I haven't been here in a while. Yeah. Yep, air conditioning isn't working. They got a lot of units too. A lot of them. Let's go see what's going on. Yes, sir. Take you around. Wait, say that again? You want to see the air conditioning thing? Well, I'm here. What's the problem? I'll show you. I'm asking what the take problem. You there. The problem. I don't think it's cooling. And what well. part of the house? Just one, the bedroom. Is it a separate zone? Yeah. Is it a master bedroom? Yeah. Okay, is the filter clean? I would think so. It was changed four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Usually they're changed every 30 days. I don't know. Okay, but you, uh, I'll let you take, take lead. You take okay. charge. Right, that's what I want to do. Okay, that's not normally my typical procedure, but you're the no. boss, you're paying me, so by all means. <laughs> Well, this unit was leaking. Was leaking what? Water, refrigerant? No, refrigerant. Okay. okay. How old is the system? Uh, seven years, six years, eight years. I'm not sure. Okay. Several years. Exactly. Okay. All right, so now you got it. Now I got it. Okay. Lead the way. But it's when it cools, I put the shades down, it seems to be okay. Then at night, somehow or other, turns it. Turns Okay. You got a bunch of systems here, okay. I think it's that one. You think it's that, that one? It's that one or this one. I'm not sure. Maybe that one. All right. So now let's go back inside. Because otherwise we're taking, uh, we're guessing. All right, got to turn off the thermostat, see which one turns off. All right, you want to do that? You want me to come in with you? Okay, Peter, you take, you stay, uh, see which one turns off, okay? All right, let's go to the thermostat and see which one turns off. Typically at design temperatures here in New York, we like to see, uh, you know, 15, 20 degree temperature difference. So if it's 95, you know, if we can get 75, that would be nice. You know, but 15, 20 degree design temperature. Let's go to the thermostat. Yeah. Call me. Yeah. Now. Yeah. All right. So let's turn this thing off. System heat. System off. Okay. Now I know it's 73 degrees in here. What temperature are you looking to uh, maintain? Well, no, it maintains 70. You see, what happens is by evening, by 7 o'clock, it goes up to 76, 77. Okay. It doesn't come down to 73. That okay, it so it's not maintaining 73. It doesn't maintain it during the night. On the, during the, later in the afternoon or early evening. Right, right. Okay. All right, no problem. Let's see which one turned off. I see you got a filter grill here. And the filter looks, honestly, that filter looks dirty. It doesn't look dirty, does it? No, it looks dirty. It looks dirty? Yep. Oh. All right, so we're going to have to get a step stool, take this filter out. Do you have replacement filters? Occasionally, yeah. That looks like to be a 14 by 24. I may, I may. Okay, have. I'm going to see which one turned off outside. You know, we'll check the, if there's refrigerant there, though, but if the filter is dirty, you're restricting airflow. And you restrict airflow, you cause the system to work harder. You'll have the allowing the system to freeze up and left in that can state, you know, you can kill the compressor. So now that the system is off, let's go see which system turned off. All right, Peter, which one turned off? That one? All right, he said either this one or that one, right? So now that we know it's this one, it's a 410A system. All right, my, uh, let's take a look at my condensing coil. Looks pretty, looks all right. Looks kind of dirty though. Let's check the other side. Eh, okay. We need two things. Number one, let's create a label that says master suite and we'll put it like on the side there. Number two, let's get a step stool. We need to take out a dirty filter. And number three, let's get the 410A gauges along with the Testo tool bag. 
Sorry, 12 by 24. Is that really 12? Yeah. It's 12 by 24. It should be a 12 by 25, but 12 by 24. All right. You see? One's dirty, one's clean. Let's put the filter in and we'll check pressures outside. System cool. System 70. Okay, 70, click. Let's go see what the pressure is. All right, got it labeled, got it hooked up. Yeah, we're low. 71.9 PSI on the, the low side. So we are definitely low on refrigerant here. Indicative of a leak in the system. You know, other than that, it's still. All right, my system is basically even both sides, high and low side. At scale, we've got the 410A. It just wants us to add more refrigerant like we did in May of this year and May of last year. Three pounds May of 2021, three pounds May of 2022, and it looks like we're gonna be getting three point. You didn't turn it off when you last time you used it. No, it's just, yeah, I did. Oh? I did. You was, did? It says low battery now. So don't, don't change it now. It says low battery, it says use it. It turned it off, it turned off. It turned off? All right, so you gotta change the battery. Alright, he wants us to add the easy seal. So this is the ultimate. This is for up to two tons. It's got a two-ton system, so this is perfect. Otherwise I have the one that does up to seven and a half tons. That's gonna be a little too much overkill. So we're gonna add this right there. Alright. Now I'm gonna open up that. Actually nope, sorry. Open up our high side, open, crack open our low side. When I crack it open, the refrigerant is gonna push from the high side to the low side and inject into the system. Now, open that over. I'm gonna zero out the scale, which is zero. Let's just add a little bit. Sorry, wrong way. Stabilize, pushing all that good stuff, bro. Let's close this. Let's close this. Let's take off the, the cartridge. All right, and let's hook back up our low pressure hose to the low pressure service port. We'll be able to take a reading of our pressures because this kind of acts like a check valve. I'm not going to really know what the true pressures are. All right, as you can see, my pressures 120 on the I'm dropping actually. I should have dropped it quickly now. Yeah. I'm still dropping. I'm going to let this sit for a few more minutes and see what's going on. All right. All right, so we added three more pounds to this two-ton system. And I went to grab the, the wireless scale, you know, the controller, so you can see, and the cover fell off, the battery fell off because he never screwed it back in. And now he's looking in a needle in a haystack, looking for that screw. You know how long I've had this scale for? Many, many, many years. And now look, the screw is gone. You're gonna find it? You're gonna find one screw? One special screw that's gonna fit into that little hole? I don't know, good luck. Where'd you, where'd you put the screw in? Did you, put the, did you put the screw back in? And how did it fall right out? It's cracked right there. And I swear, they give these kids nice stuff and they end up breaking it. 
I hear, uh, yeah, it wasn't like that because, you know, the cover didn't fall off when I gave it to him. Well, three pounds of R410A for this system. Three pounds. That's a lot. And it's not $77 a pound like it used to be in the beginning of the year. It's double. Double. Lost my, broke my thing. Psh, what am I gonna do with these kids? All right, so we added three pounds of refrigerant. We added the Super Seal uh, that handles up to two tons, which is perfect. This is 24,000 BTUs. And unfortunately, I already can predict the future. And I see us back here probably in September ish, mid September. If not, beginning of next cooling season for sure. And at that point, we're gonna take our ultraviolet light and look for the leak. We were here in May, added three pounds. He didn't want to do any leak detection. He didn't want to do any leak search. He just wanted to gas and go, and we did that. You know, the law in the United States, you know, allows for that, you know, for residential systems of this size. So, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe next time around, we'll make a repair, but chances are it's in the evaporator coil may even be in the condensing unit, but regardless, we bought them some more time, pretty substantial bill, three pounds, refrigerant, an hour of labor, it ain't cheap, you know, cost of living here in New York, expensive, ching ching, so, all right guys, we'll catch you on the next one, until then, be well, God bless, stay safe.